Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth. Run number 12, with Eden. Perhaps this time we shall die. We have hair we have not had before. We have... Oh, that's bad. That's not great, Terius. That's the seed. That's teleport number two, which teleports me to an unvisited room, I believe. Uh... Yeah, the hair is quite weird. Um, don't know how happy I am about the item we have. Although, is this... Uh, it might actually not be too bad. I think the item we have currently is called Leprosy. Oh, that's not great either. Uh, uh, and I believe it gives me a shield every time I take damage, but it's a shield that breaks after a bit, like a couple hits. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Uh, this is gonna be rough though. This is gonna be a tricky one to pull off, I think. Because I'm kind of trying to get the little chub to kill everything right now. The big chub or whatever it's called. Because those fire guys, if I have this tier rate and no damage, because my damage is pretty low as well, uh, they're, they're kind of rough. They're kind of rough, so... I need to be very careful here. My health is not amazing. There's a lot of things which require bombs or flight, and I have neither. We have seen a tinted rock that was in a different room. But if we can get ourselves a, uh, whatchamacallit, a hangman card or something like that, or maybe a secret room, that brings us something good. Uh, like how that could bring us the other flying item that you sometimes get in the secret room, the noose. I, <laughs> I forget what the actual name of the item is, but it is a noose. So, hopefully we can get something like that. Wouldn't mind like batteries either, because that way we can guarantee we can get into our secret room with uh, teleportation too. Because it teleports us to a room we haven't been yet. And I don't think there are enough rooms left on this floor to recharge my item. Uh, it does mean we need to enter our shop, which is going to cost a key. And it might also take us to our super secret room, which theoretically could contain... I was kind of hoping I could use that bomb. It could th theoretically contain Ragman, and that would be terrible. But let's... let's oh, well, here he is already. I'm kind of hoping that we can avoid seeing him in there, if at all possible. I'm just really trying to make the most use of this little big chub guy over right now, because that's where the majority of our damage is right now, which is a little awkward. It's not something I'm very used to, I'm going to be honest, but it's working out. It's doing all right. There we go. That's the boss down. We'll get through this. We're gonna get through this. There we go. And we get ourselves marbles. Which definitely does something. While holding an uncharged active item, we get those things. Or we can have the Locust of Death, which deals four times damage, but it's only one fly. Or Tears Move and Spirals. Um, this is probably pretty good. I'm going to enter my shop just for the sheer case of having been in it. So now I can go into my curse room and then teleport out afterwards. And then I should be able to at least hit uh, the secret room and the super secret room, I believe. Oh, please don't be cursed to the tower. Oh boy, that's actually a really good item as well. Alright, so this is the super secret room. Uh, we have increased a bunch of stuff because we have no charge on our teleporter so that's good just trying to get through this room without taking the full heart of damage there we go all right so day guys can give us an extra heart so that's good i can use this and not really get anything back for it full mapping is there's two of them so i can use one this is Resistance, and this is Yera. I'm gonna use Yera. <laughs> I'm going to get ourselves a Degas rune and a Degas rune. Let's see, what else do we have? We have Resistance twice. 
We can use one of these. <laughs> if need be. Because I kind of want Guppy's Paw more than this. I'm not going to lie. If I can get a bomb from this, that would be amazing. Ah, that's really unfortunate. Well, we did what we could, you know? And I think... That's just going to have to be that. I'm going to use this rune to get into this room without taking damage. I'm going to keep Guppy's paw. I don't know if taking this is better, honestly, but I feel more confident with it. And I think I'm just going to keep the resistance. So the dim light bulb is actually making this run a lot better. Because <laughs> um, it just increases all of our stats by a pretty significant amount, honestly. So that's pretty great. That is pretty damn good. We can use this. We can make something with this. Plus, with the guppy's paw, I can turn any red heart into three soul hearts. So that's pretty much a guarantee that we're going to have a lot of health as long as we can get some red heart items, either a health up pill or just regular items, maybe a magic mushroom, that would be nice, but I'm not going to expect it. I'd be very surprised if that happens, if I'm honest. The leprosy is giving me a little bit of shielding, which does do damage to the enemy as well, but it does make the shield go away very quickly. So I'm trying to just keep it for now, for when it has to be, uh, it has to be used, basically. And uh, yeah, so far it seems okay. I'm a little bit concerned about my devil deal though, because I don't particularly have the health to take much of anything unless there's a dead cat in there. Or a couple other items which would give me health afterwards, but even the health items scare me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. At least if I get a red heart, I can turn it into three soul hearts, which would be the price of any devil deal item, so if there's one that costs more than one heart and I somehow have two red hearts at that point, it seems fairly unlikely, but technically possible. I could do some cool things. I could just spend the minimum amount of hearts required and that would be nice. I lost one of my shields to that, which is a little unfortunate, but okay, I'm not taking that just yet. I'm always a little hesitant to take the shielding tears, because it can become real messy. But after last run, I am a little bit more tempted to take it, because that was something. It, it really would have been a lot better run with shielded tears, but that's such a specific situation, I feel. And I'm concerned that I'm just going to kind of ruin it if I try to take it now, because my tear rate's not amazing. And it could become amazing, obviously, but it, it isn't amazing now, and I'm kind of trying to work with what I have rather than what I could be getting. And if I don't get tier 8 this run, which is possible, then I'm going to be boned, so we need to be concerned about that a little bit. So I think our secret room is next to this one. I don't think it... Oh god, this does look like a room which could have it though, but I am gonna take a gamble on this one and say it's over here. Because I don't remember if there were anything that rocks. Damn it! <laughs> uh, that's my own bad. I kind of fit because this looks like a secret room, Andrew, because there's like two little rocks next to each other, but it also has a thin room next to it, so it seemed kind of unlikely. But it could also be underneath this room. Like this is also still a possibility, so eh, what are you gonna do? Sometimes you gamble, you miss. I'm gonna take this and just hope it works out. It reduces our shot speed, supposedly, and there it goes. <laughs> drag, damn it. That's kind of dumb, but... I'm just gonna hope for the best. That one drops red poops, which is not great, obviously. Now, the big chub also blocks tears as well, I do believe from what we've seen so far, so that is kind of useful against this boss as well. I'm just going to use this poop to guard against this, because I don't trust myself shooting him right now as he's moving. That is very nice. That is very good. Uh, that's four items, and all of them are not incredible. Mm. Like, duality's fun. 
because it gives you and it gives you access to the angel rooms and if you have a decent run you can like think about going to mega satan and stuff like that but meh. this is actually it was really good the last time i used it but i don't know if we have the build for it right now hmm i'm tempted to just take nothing honestly yeah i'm actually just gonna take nothing and probably just use the health for now because none of those items except for death list i i think that probably would have been the better play just taking death list because having the startups from that every now and then like at the start of a run that probably is better seeing as we still have the whole run to go and like rooms like this you would very easily be able to take it so actually i'd say i made a mistake <laughs> but that's okay that's probably fine as long as we play it cool, we're just gonna have to play it safe, not take too much damage. Please, one of these days. But yeah, that's that's the way it is. Sometimes you think about it a little bit more, but I just kind of wanted to keep going. And afterwards, it, it might have worked out better to take death list, but... At the same time, sometimes your death list just gives you nonsense. Uh, nah. I mean, obviously, that's actually really good. And I might actually take it in a second. But I don't really feel like it, unless we have a way to quickly get rid of poop, because I don't want to spend the next 10 minutes clearing out a room. Because, <laughs> preferably, I'd wait for, like, a big room as well, and it just takes a really long time, and it's boring. So I, I'd rather just not. That's pretty good. That's just extra damage, I believe. Don't even see the extra effect with the with the shielded tears, unfortunately. I'll take that. Eh. Unfortunate, but our damage actually became pretty amazing. So I'm not too mad about that. If we can get a gulp pill, I'd be pretty happy as well. Because having the dim light forever is pretty good. It also means that we can like take another trinket as well. So that would be quite nice. Because there's, there's just a lot of good trinkets in this game. Getting something cool would be nice. Man, that, that follower is doing some work, though. <laughs> like, he's very slow, but whenever he goes through something, he just eats everything. Like, it's amazing. Again, flight would be pretty damn good right now. I'm gonna try to see if there is a secret room over there. Also, I'm just gonna use this before I forget about it, because I will. <laughs> so, let's see if there's one over here, because it's one of those rooms. And I'm going to try and get some more coins out of this, please. It gave me extra devil deal percent. So, what are you gonna do? Good enough for me. And onwards to here, where there is one poop awaiting us. Fortunately, our damage is good enough. Our tier rate is amazing. Man, dim light's so good. <laughs> Especially with an item that doesn't have charges, so you'll always have the effect. Like, it becomes pretty amazing for a lot of things. Also, we have 21 coins, so I should definitely visit my shop. Maybe see Greed, if it is Caves 1 that he spawns. I'm still pretty sure that is Caves 2. That Greed starts appearing, so might as well check this. That is a battery which does nothing. It's a candle which doesn't help, because our dim light bulb is most of our damage right now. That is health. I'll take that. One more reroll, I think. Damn, I wish we could get a map. Just one of these runs. <laughs> like, I've had a blue map, and I think that's the extent of mapping that we've had on all of these runs so far. And I wouldn't mind just any mapping to just sort of speed stuff up a little bit every now and then. Because it would just make life a little bit easier. Now, I do actually need four more coins, preferably, before I reroll that thing again, because I bought a whole bunch of health. And... Honestly, I'd rather have health than mapping because it means I survive, but... Eh. Also, that was also just one of those rooms that looks like it would have something here. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain the look of one of those rooms other than it just is. Like, it, it just sort of looks like there's almost like an arrow pointing here to a wall. There's two mushrooms. It's all very symmetrical and stuff. Like, it's... Uh... It just has a certain look to it, <laughs> that there probably is something there. And usually it's right as well. 
And there's a tinted rock over there. If we can get that guy to blow up that tinted rock, that would save us a bomb. That would be quite useful. Yeah, that didn't hit it. Wow. Are you serious? And I could just shoot over here and then hope I get one of the green tears in the air. It didn't look like I did. Please, though. Oh, he can't go through walls? That's stupid. Are you sick? Can you please? Please just shoot me once, please. Thank you. There we go. Who's a good boy? You're very good. Thank you very much. No devil deal. That is unfortunate. Cannot get that black heart been in our secret and other room. Let's just go. No reason to dilly dally. No reason to stay here and ponder about stuff. We move on. Slowly but surely. Our build's not really improving so much, but we are getting more health, and that's nice. <laughs> Plus, we still have the option of just removing all our red hearts, and that does always make me feel a little bit safer. It means we also have three extra hearts as well that we can play with, as long as I use the item in time, and I trust myself to do that, so <laughs> hopefully that won't be a problem. I would like if that portal went away, though. It's spawning a lot of things. Oh, jeez, I didn't even notice that bat. I, somehow that just eluded me. Somehow I dodged it the whole time, but I, I straight up did not see that bat until I was pretty much in it. So that stalled me a little. <laughs> but it's okay. We're getting through. Slowly, as our follower is going slowly as well. We are getting through these rooms. Our damage intake is quite low, which is nice. Like, especially against enemies like this, like having shielded tears with low tier rate, you just lose, because... They just shoot more. <laughs> so you have to move around it, and it's kind of annoying. But with our current tier rate, it's not too bad. I don't see a tinted rock here immediately, but I'm not I didn't pay super close attention. This could be good, because if we can get a gulp pill, then we can keep our dim light forever. And obviously that would be preferable. Also, I'm accidentally sending out little chub over here like in the right directions repeatedly <laughs> like suddenly he'll just kill something it's like oh definitely didn't aim for that but it's a good thing that he went for that and uh, i'm happy about that i have five bombs zero keys uh, let's try and eat this health up that's amazing actually let's just use that immediately so that could have also been a health down pill but because we were at run red heart it turns into a health up until you, you know you get an extra heart container and it's a health down again. But that's actually really good because especially with Guppy's paw, knowing that that's in my pill pool, like that's amazing. That's greed starting from caves too, as per tradition. Shield of Tears are actually doing a lot of work for me right now as well, so I'm not too disappointed with getting them. Like this, for that I want a gulp pill because having those flies available is so strong. It is so good to have flies in this game. <laughs> so if I can somehow get a gulp pill and eat my current trinket, then I can take that item instead. Or not so much instead, but also take that item. And I want it. That's another health up. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Suddenly our build became very safe. Like, if I knew that this was coming, then I definitely would have taken either Death List or Duality, because Duality, like, it's fun to just be able to choose between a Devil Deal or an Angel Room as well, so it's like, eh. It, uh, it generally leads to fun things, like fun choices. It almost certainly leads to Mega Satan as well. I'm ex ah, that's not the pill you want to see, because that one just makes everything horrible. Because it just suddenly speeds up enemies as well, and that can be kind of scary. This is, mm, yeah, that was uh, that was a questionable one. Like this one or this one, they could both be super secret rooms, and both of them weren't. And that's that's the downside of the. This kind of looks like one of those rooms theory. <laughs> Sometimes it just looks like one of those rooms, and it isn't. And I probably could have looked around a little bit more to see if um, there was something closer to the boss room that had the particular walls and stuff required to be a super secret room. But I didn't. And I didn't like pill. It is something's wrong. Which isn't much of anything, unfortunately. But that's okay. We're moving on. We're getting through this. We're gonna survive this day. Assuming... I mean, with this build, it, it could definitely make it to the end. I'm not even worried about that right now. 
because we just have too much health. <laughs> and our tier rate's fine, our damage is not amazing. Also, the I'm excited pill part two, because it does reactivate after a while. Suddenly the enemies go faster, so, uh, you know, that's that's always fun. It's a fun pill. <laughs> but yeah, with with what we have right now, I, I feel like it's honestly enough to survive this one. Luck up, that's also pretty good. So our pill pool is pretty good, except for our I'm excited, but for the most part, it's pretty okay. But I hope that I can fulfill my promise of actually making it to the end and not get screwed over by something, because suddenly everything can go wrong in this game as well. Like, you can accidentally grab something like... Well, if I get soy milk now, that would actually be pretty good with the shielding tears as well. But there are, like, Curse of the Tower and stuff like that. There's... Kidney Stone, I believe it is. That, that one's pretty rough. Like, there's definitely a couple of items that would make this build a lot more unreliable. And I'm hoping that we can work around that somehow. That's not really worth the time. So I think our secret room is here. I have no idea where a super secret room could be. We did not get a gulp pill, unfortunately. I can blow up one of these to get a slightly higher devil deal percent. And I can get the golden chest that's coming up. I think I need to use a bomb for it, but that's okay. I guess I could have gotten the golden chest up like top left as well, but oh well. It's too late for that. Thought I picked that up, didn't. But yeah, I am... If the super secret room's not over here, then I have no idea. <laughs> it is. And it's five pills, so there's still a chance. Just look up. Luck this is... Up. Gulp! Oh my god, that's so, that's so good. Addicted. Let's just get out of that room real quick before we take double down. Pretty fly. Oh my god, our pill pool's amazing. That's so good. <laughs> Man, with with the pill baby as well, like that's so good. That's actually really strong. So I'm happy about that. Our run is slowly but surely making its way to the chill position, and I am happy about that. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it does give us an extra shield. So actually. It's not too bad. Plus, we have two red heart containers, so it really doesn't matter too much. <laughs> now, if we could get a cool... Mm, if we get a devil deal, I think I'll go for the... I didn't get duality. <laughs> I'm thinking about what I would do with duality, but I didn't pick that up. Whoops. Oh, well. That's mine. No more angel rooms for us, unfortunately. But that's okay. We have ourselves a little demon that's flying up and down. We have a Curse of the Blind, which is sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. And uh, maybe we can get ourselves a Degas rune. We've gotten one before this run, but it would remove the curse. Maybe we can get a Black Candle by just purchasing a 50 coin item and hoping. Maybe we just won't get a Devil Deal and it won't even matter. Maybe we'll get Super Greed in our shop and then we won't have to worry about buying a random item either. Eh. Tempted to get grabbed. I'm actually just gonna get grabbed. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's go over here instead. I was kind of hoping that would be an item room or something, but at least there's only one room in this direction so we can quickly go back to where we came from. Uh, no worries. Everything is okay. I should actually blow up that mirror because our pill pool is incredible. That's paralysis. Uh, thank you very much. Boop. Take all of these. Slowly but surely don't accidentally run into things. And yeah, let's just take this. Oops. <laughs> accidentally walked into it. That's, uh, that's garbage, but this is gulp. But having three somethings wrong pills, like why would you even keep that in there? That just seems silly. Let's see if it would be possible for an, a secret room to be here, and it does look like it is possible. It is not there, <laughs> but that's okay. We tried. And onwards we go. Killing all these... Man, it's really a something wrong kind of floor, isn't it? Just a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of goop everywhere. It's a goopy floor. Don't like it. Especially when there's actually enemies that make use of it. Right now it's just a lot of goop. Which I guess is fine, but it's just a little bit gross, you know, like these guys. 
the moment you think about them, they appear in this game, and it's super annoying. <laughs> uh, they are one of my least favorite enemies. Most of my least favorite enemies are from Afterbirth Plus, and it's, I think all of them is just because I'm not used to it. But still, they're, they're butts, and I don't like them. Big old butts. Um, can't really do anything with that. That is a gluttony. If you drop a heart, that would be cool. Nope. Okay, then. I have one bomb remaining, which is why I'm a little hesitant to try and find another secret room right now, but... Maybe we'll get more. We have a second one right now. I think there's one, like, to the top left for me right now. Not specifically here, but in that general direction. Uh... But let's check out the rest of this floor first. There might be a super secret room on the other side of that room, actually, as well, but... That's probably fine. I'm not gonna worry about super secret rooms too much, because most of the time they're just kind of garbage anyway, but... Sometimes they're just amazing as well, so it's... It's a bit hit or miss. Because <laughs> the super secret room could very easily just be there as well, and then it's like, well, wasted a bomb on that. That's sad. And let's see if we can find our shop and item room <laughs> right there, because this is the depths. I thought we were in the cave still for some reason, but we're in the depths. But even the depths shouldn't be much bigger than this, I would reckon. Get rid of these boys. As long as you just don't hit attacks, the build also becomes... Or don't miss attacks, rather. The build instantly becomes a lot better. <laughs> Uh, serpent's Kiss, that's actually really strong. My damage went down, but it's because I left that Serpent. Yeah, Serpent's Kiss can spawn Black Hearts, and that's... Black Hearts are amazing. They're just so good. So the occasional Black Heart would be nice. That's Ball and Chain. I mean, that's kind of nice for getting rid of rocks. <laughs> that's about it, really. That is a shop. Yeah, like Stuff like this, you can... Uh, do that and maybe try and get like a dry baby out of one of these, but it's a bit of a pain to try and do. PhD, even better pills. Sure. Luck. And stop. <laughs> it's appearing too much. This is actually getting stupid. This, there shouldn't be this many stopwatches in this video game. Like it's, it's getting to be a joke at this point. Because it's such a ridiculously strong item. Having it show up this frequently is just the dumbest nonsense. <laughs> and I mean, I'm grateful for it, but I, if if I knew it was a stopwatch, I wouldn't have picked it up. Because <laughs> I'm just tired of it at this point. I'm done seeing it. It makes every run a lot more boring. Just all the excitement gets killed from it. It's becoming my new Dr. Fetus, or Epic Fetus, rather. I'm gonna try it. I, ha I have one bomb remaining. I might as well see if the super secret room is over here. Because it's one of those weird rooms. Yeah. Let's see if we can get something cool out of one of these cool chests, at least. Should be able to do that with the barrels we have. Might push one of the barrels to the shopkeeper as well, I guess. I cannot do that. <laughs> it's not how that works. It's a different type of barrel that you can push, but... At least we can do this. At least the chest contains things. If we can get one more bomb out of this, that'd be nice. Then I can blow up the shopkeeper, get a slightly higher devil deal chance. That's two bombs. That's three bombs. Not bad. Let's blow up you. And leave. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ready for whatever life brings us. This day. There is Brownie. Just gonna, it's the one that shoots the worms, but that's okay. Our, if we can get a bigger version of this follower, I'm tempted to just get it. Because he's already dealing so much damage. <laughs> also, my Serpent's Kiss is just spawning a million things, so that's good. Bombs are key. Uh, nah, that's fine, actually. Matchbook. So that's bombs again. Eh, meh. So, I said earlier that I fully believe this run will make it to the end. I still feel that way. I do not expect it to be the most interesting run ever done, unfortunately. Also, I'm taking this. 
because this gives us access to Mega Satan if need be. Judgment. And that could be fun. So there's not that many items that you can get from a coin beggar. And I didn't even know that was one of them. <laughs> but there you go. Now we got the black bean. Which is definitely an item in this video game. We're gonna do slightly more poison. Because this, this it's a poison run. That's what this is. We're doing a poison run. Everything's getting poisoned. Poison and block. Nothing is going... This is going to be an almost no damage run at this point. Because we have a lot of defense items. We just need the Holy Mantle at this point And then we're solid. We're not going to make Hush. Because we've just had a very slow run. <laughs> and that's how it is. We're not going to reach the boss rush. Because again, slow run. I found pills. That's not worth taking. Man, I love this mod. This mod is making me happy though. Because having to pick up every pill every time, it's just, it's just a bit nicer to know what it is beforehand, you know? It's just, uh, occasionally you accidentally cheat, but most of the time it's actually just quite nice to have. Every 15th tier fired, you fire a cluster of tiers. Each tier in the cluster deals double damage. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, but there's probably something better in there. Not that one. <laughs> nope. Starting to regret not taking the pencil. That's just regular tech. I mean, it's fun, but it kind of breaks things. Adrenaline for every empty heart container. Oh. Does that work with this? Oh, yeah. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> for every empty heart container, that's... Ah, that was actually really bad. <laughs> that doesn't really work with this. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Could have had the pencil, but you know. What's better than the pencil? You know it. It's nothing. Just a whole bunch of nothing. I guess if we... Alright, that's amazing. If we find a... A temperance machine, then we could just use that and... Just remove some of these... Uh, these things we have, but... Meh. 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 Die. Thank you. We have a bombs are key. We have chaos. Might as well have some fun see what we get. I mean, it's a bit late for chaos, I'm not gonna lie, but we can re-roll this place at least, so that's cool. Let's see if we can get something fun here. Oh, secret room. Oh, puppy's head. <laughs> sure. Take that. Uh <laughs> Thanks, chaos. <laughs> All right. Sure, I guess. Why not? We have 69 coins. Oh, chaos, you magnificent bastard. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, chaos, you ridiculous, you ridiculous thing. Truly, my day is being improved by the second. Might as well take this. Don't know if we are even close to Bookworm, already have it, but either way, it's pretty good. It also it adds to Bookworm. Yep, there we go, there it is. <laughs> uh, let's just do one more. There we go, that's a dead cat. Why not? Probably should have... Turn some hearts into soul hearts first, but it doesn't ultimately really matter that much. Take the keys. And skedaddle. So, this run's gonna be over in about five minutes. <laughs> um, because we got a lot of nonsense. I'm gonna take that real quick. What was this? Ace our clubs. Let's just quickly go back and see if we can find that chaos card that I apparently dropped there. Or uh, that one. Get a jail free card. Not chaos. That's very different. And um, just, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this run. I think I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> feeling pretty confident right now with uh, with this guppy that we have, because guppy's amazing. That's a devil deal. I can go to. Can go down. <laughs> I just feel like it. Oh, yeah, actually, why not? <laughs> it's the best way of getting ten bombs. My, uh, that syringe is definitely doing nothing now, but... Eh, feel like it. Just feel like getting some bombs right now. But yeah, th the moment you have Guppy, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> it, it's almost like a guaranteed win. I just need to remember to go down and not up when we kill Mom's heart. That's really about it. I trust myself to be able to do this. But also, I feel like I'm going to have to be talking about it for the next 
minute and a half or so, because otherwise I will forget. And I'm gonna feel very sad about it. Because we don't really go down there very often. And she's no, we finally have a run where I would say it's safe. It's it's pretty safe to go there. Not we don't need the Polaroid right now. I believe in in this build somewhere. Uh, boom. Apparently there was a tinted rock. I couldn't see it. Did that just say perks? Yeah. <laughs> Not taking perks. I gotta keep my uh, get out of jail free card. Yeah, that's still a bit random how you shoot those things, but that's okay. Five extra bombs. And we leave. I could have looked for a shopkeeper to increase my devil deal chance. But I didn't. Let's check this out though. That's perks. That's pretty fly. Don't need that. Also, some runs ago, I was like, well, my bandage ball is gone. Did I overwrite it with a pretty fly? But no, I didn't. I, uh, <laughs> I definitely didn't. I just, um, used the sacrificial altar, and apparently that gets rid of the meat cube as well. Or the bandage ball, or whichever one of the two I had. Didn't know it got rid of that, but there you go. Learned something that day. I figured it out when I was re-watching the footage. I may have even figured it out mid-run, but just didn't say it. Because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, it's probably that, and then you just forget to say it out loud, because, you know, I've had that thought. Why would I need to explain it further? You, Y'all can read my mind, right? So it's like, what are you worried about? And I'm pretty sure that y'all agree with me, so that's, uh, that's probably fine. Anyway. Where do you think we have to go? We have a lot of options. <laughs> it's a pretty big floor, there would appear. A lot of big rooms. That's... Is that a red chest? Sorry, I kind of hard to tell on the map, but I think that might be a red chest. Just gonna real quickly check that out. If it is, no, it's a spiky chest. That's not one I want. Slow all enemies down. Let's just stick with the big rooms. Big room means big chance of finding the boss. Because it probably technically counts as being further away from the start, and therefore the boss is probably somewhere in that direction. Duplicate all your bombs. Suddenly we have 46. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Whoop. That's not a super secret room. That's nothing. That's a lot of luck up. Does luck affect our build right now in any way? Not sure. We need to go down. We need to go down. Down to the demon devil. Hmm. Cursed eye. That could be fun if we want to ruin this build. Um. Eh. Psst. Eh. Eh. It's it's an item. Down. There we go. We did it. We uh, we got through the one part of the run that I could have messed up. So that's nice. Feeling pretty proud of my achievements there. I hope everyone is uh, willing to congratulate me on that one. Wow, that's a lot of spiders. <laughs> I uh, didn't really pay attention, and suddenly there was there was a lot. Fortunately, I have a large amount of black hearts and. They're spiders, so they just leave. Oh, look at that. Even more black hearts from our poison. What a lovely day. <laughs> the only downside with going this way is that you get a little bit less items and it makes chaos a little bit less chaotic, but... Eh. We got pretty good use out of chaos, I would say. It, it was uh, a pretty good investment. In the sense that we got a full guppy and bookworm transformation. Uh, within seconds <laughs> so you know it's pretty good pretty decent could have avoided that if i moved chose not to don't frequently see those either pretty fly get out of jail just need to get through one more boss and then i can press the use a card button and not have to worry about which card i need oh right yeah i uh <laughs> for some reason i thought the statue was going to come alive after four seconds but no that's not how that works Unfortunately, we have to stopwatch, so we don't need to be worried about death at all. I actually forgot I had to stopwatch until we were in this boss fight. Oh, yep, could have avoided that if I moved like a regular human. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. We have nine lives remaining. I forgot we even had the dead cat, but I picked it up at the end there, and that means we have basically an extra chance for everything. Uh, and use that. That opens the door. That is flight, and an eternal heart. It's not really gonna do anything, but you know, it 
That's fun. And that's what matters. Oh, careful now. So I wouldn't mind a little bit more tear rate. <laughs> just if we can get that on this floor, that would just be lovely. Uh, we do have Guppy's tail. So that should theoretically increase the chance of getting locked chests. We have 14 keys. So hypothetically, we could get some stuff. Oh, this will give us one coin. Let's use it. Hmm. Didn't even see the coin. Does it give you nothing? Is that even an option? <laughs> I thought it actually even said that would give me one coin. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I'm lost and confused now. I saved up my Pandora's box all the way for this and I get nothing. Preposterous. Oh well. Live and learn. Also, these, uh, the shielding effect is going a bit weird for some reason, but... Fair enough. Getting some extra hearts. Uh, fair enough. And... Yeah, not much left to say. Ooh, Bob. Almost got that transformation as well. I wonder if we're gonna see the Bob transformation in any of these runs. Because it's a weirdly rare one to get. Plus you need to actually pick up something like... Bob's rotten head and Bob's brain and stuff like that. Like, touching them is one thing, but... Like, finding all of them in the same run? And even noticing the effect afterwards, because I think it's just that you drop creep or something, so it's not even, like, an amazing thing. It's just kind of there. Let's see if there's a super secret room over here. That was not. Oh, yeah, I guess we have the cool bombs as well. We should probably use more bombs, seeing as we have 54. <laughs> like how in the previous run, we had, like, zero at the end. Well, that's just a, definitely an item that you can get, I guess. I hope that doesn't make the screen flash every single time I go into a room. It does. All right, well, I hope you're all ready for that. <laughs> Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I forgot how that item worked, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I knew that it would explode every room, but I forgot that it exploded quite like that. And that's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? I'm just trying to find a lamb right now. Like, where, uh, where is he hiding? Just wanna fight that boss for the first time in, in a year. Just seemed like fun. No secret room. Oh, a goat head! Very useful. Watch as our devil deal percent chance went to 100%. Yep, sure did. Exactly. I wonder if there's any... There's no trinkets on this floor that we have seen, at least. Secret room, maybe. Nope. Tried a lot of walls. But yeah, the, at the same time, the, the Mama Bomb is, is quite good. <laughs> it's pretty annoying effect-wise, but it also just gets rid of a lot of things. Oh, it actually opens up those as well. Well then, then I won't need to bomb anything anymore from this point on, I guess. It insta-kills greed. That's just better. It's just more damage. Oh, tier 8 again. Still wouldn't mind a little bit of the old tear it. Look at that monstro too going down. That's what you want to see. Still happy with my dim light bulb as well. All in all, a pretty successful run so far. I might still die. And if I happen to go to the void and then die to a delirium, then we're going to be in big trouble. But all in all, so far, I'd say this, this run has been successful. That does nothing. What does that say? 10% chance for a crawl space. Oh, also, I didn't know that... Huh, that this would spawn on uh, on this floor. I wonder if that's random or not, because it doesn't seem very random, because I can dig this up, I think, yeah. Like, these little holes in, the, in this area, you can dig up with the shovel and you can get cool stuff. It's actually how you unlock... Well, kind of how you unlock one of the items. Uh, one of the characters, rather, the Forgotten. But I didn't know there would be a room like that, where there's just a shovel hanging around, and that's actually quite nice. That you would get something like that for when you're not actively going for the Forgotten, because usually you will just won't have a shovel at this point, obviously, so, you know. Kinda neat. I like it. I should maybe- I'm actually gonna check out that battery uh, with the shovel real quick in a second, I think. And just dig up the other patch. Would you like to do a victory lap? No. 
I would like to go to Mega Satan instead. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab that battery, dig up the second patch. And then we'll go to Mega Satan, because I'm actually... I'm not very familiar at all what can be in those patches, and there was a chest in it just now. So if there's one in the other one as well, I mean, I'd say that's worthwhile. Plus we're running pretty fast. <laughs> Our speed is amazing. Uh, yep, another chest, cool. Didn't really contain anything we wanted, but you know, it's a chest. That still counts. I guess we're just gonna go to Mega Satan. Our build is not... Well, it's, it's incredible, but it doesn't have tier rate, and that's really the only thing it's missing. Also, that item doesn't really work. The bomb, mama bomb, with... A boss that doesn't spawn immediately. Otherwise, it would have been a slight amount of damage against Mega Satan there, but no. Die, Mega Satan. Yeah, this runs pretty... This, this build's pretty strong. <laughs> Looking how it deals with these particular dudes. It's, it's, it's dealing a pretty large amount of damage. I'm not gonna lie. And then there's a the stopwatch, which is actually slightly annoying right now, because I don't want to fight hands. But at the same time, it does make this a little bit more bearable. Because suddenly our little demon friend appeared and just hung out in the middle of it all in the while for a second, and that sped it up quite significantly. We got a lot of black hearts as well. Just an absurd amount of health. <laughs> And all because we took Shielded Tears. Imagine if we hadn't taken that and the whole run would have been different. Maybe we would have had tier rate. Who knows? I for sure do not. Because that could be cheating. And I only cheat slightly in my runs. <laughs> by knowing what certain things are. I'm not sure if I want to take this run to the void though. Because... Don't know if it's... Oh god, yeah, then there's this. <laughs> the Shielded Tears are slightly annoying for this, unfortunately, but... That's just the way it is. Can't really prevent that one. We can shoot slightly diagonally by just hugging the wall over here. And, like, slightly pressing the analog stick up. Because you will just shoot, like, in that direction then. Which is nice. Oh my god, I, I kind of got her, right? We still have Chaos, and if we can get a lot of bosses, that would be fun. If we just get delirium instantly, like that would that would kind of suck. But if we, you know, if we get a couple other bosses, then at least we get the most out of our chaos, and that would be nice. Let's just give this guy some money as well. We got plenty of coins, and who knows what kind of great items this little guy can give us right now? I hope he gives something quickly, though. I wish to move on, please. Duplicate your bombs. I guess that's kind of cool. Might as well. Keep the gulp card or pill rather or I will forget. Dude, come on. <laughs> Give me something here. Give me an item. There you go. That's definitely an item. I guess I might as well. Nah, there's no real reason to take it. It's probably better to actually just leave it on the floor because then I can come back to it. If I do actually die somewhere for some reason. Like, I could definitely die to Delirium. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a low tier 8 run right now. And if I die to Delirium, I can use that to get three extra hearts back from the start. And that is a pretty damn good second chance if we do need one. So, probably better to just leave it there for now. Onwards and upwards. Not gonna bother with grey chests right now, because... I don't think they can really have anything that I would particularly desire. Except maybe keys, I guess, but I could use a bombs or keys card and then that's that's 99 keys right there immediately. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna worry about it. This room is fun. But I want to fight a boss. One of these days. Just said that... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Shops will now appear in the room. Oh. I guess there is one for item rooms, so I shouldn't be too surprised there's one for the room, for shops as well. But I didn't know for sure. Uh, I guess I could gulp it. I mean, there's no point. Because <laughs> we're not going back to the womb from this point, probably. But what if we did? What if we just started this whole run all over again? Then, would I maybe want a shop there, I guess? 
Yeah, right? <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of. If we suddenly get the option to do a victory lap from the void. Maybe I should do like a victory lap run one of these days as well, because those are pretty, uh, those can be wacky. I don't remember how many victory laps you need to do to unlock the thing, but I don't... Mm, bouncy tears are fun. I'm gonna eat it. I've made my choice. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna have to learn. Oh, yes, though. That's. I probably should have eaten that one instead. Because that's just a damage up. <laughs> that just makes our tears bigger. If we could get something that gives us tear rate, though. Boy, that would be neat. Although, like, having gigantic super tears is, I guess, also pretty fun, kind of. I guess that's fine. Should I look for a teleportation item? I'm pretty sure there's not telepills in my pill pool. Oh, perks though. I guess if I take perks, I just win. <laughs> Let's just break that. Open that. Get ourselves that. Please, no delirium. Hey, it's regular Isaac. Sure, I guess. Look at those bouncy tears sometimes. Mm. Trying to attack while I'm inside the... The circle of extra damage, unfortunately, wasn't quite enough damage. Sure. We did need more bombs, after all. We only have 99. Weird to see Isaac in here for some reason. Don't know why, because it could just be anything, but... Isaac just feels a little odd. This feels like a strange thing. Can't really explain it. If we can get telepills... That'd be sweet. Luck up. I mean, that's pretty good as well. But yeah, with perks, it just, it's, it's the wafer effect. You take half damage. I'll have maximum health. I have three more hearts that I can get using my guppy's paw. Like, there's no downside there. It's all amazing. I could get that money in case I get money equals power. I guess that's probably it. No, there was luck up as well. I should just pick up coins for the luck factor, I guess. Not a terrible idea. I'm not sure which items I have right now that benefit from a high luck percent. Man, that screwed me up for a second. I did not know where the bombs were. <laughs> but occasionally that happens in the void. But yeah, if I could get... If I could get the thing. You know, the one. The money equals power. Or if I could just get extra luck so I spawn more nails? I don't think that that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know if I have anything that would be benefiting from luck, but I'm getting a lot of luck up right now, so... If I do, that's that's nice, I guess. And maybe I'll get something. I don't know. Maybe there's something in this run which is like, here you go. Now it's a 100% chance that's the other Isaac. <laughs> Weird to get those back to back, but there you go. Ah, yes, Transcendence, the one I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Ooh. Let's take that. This is almost at the point where you unlock the, like, marble bag or whatever it's called that you get for gulping, like, five of those uh, trinkets. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not randomly shoot poison tears as if we're not shooting enough poison tears already? Alright, two chances for Delirium. What are we gonna get? Chance number one. It's the adversary. He dies almost instantaneous. But, then there's boss number two. Ooh, placebo. Especially with that, you can just get basically infinite gulp pills and just eat everything. It's Delirium. Alright, using the perks pill. <laughs> I might actually just do the whole floor just for fun. Because I want to see what the build could have been, you know? I'm surprised that brimstone there didn't hit me, but fair enough, I guess. So I'm hoping that, seeing as there appear to be two deliriums, that he's going to bug out and suddenly take a whole bunch of damage. <laughs> That's the dream, but I'm guessing that won't happen. I'm not sure why there were two of them for a second there, but delirium's kind of a weird boss, and sometimes weird stuff happens, and I don't know how to explain the weirdness very well. Also, we're dealing a fair amount of damage, even with our lack of tier rate. And that's good. I'm happy with my perk spill. 
<laughs> it's really helping us out. But yeah, this is also kind of an awkward situation for Shielded Tears, unfortunately, because I just cannot really get through it. Most of the damage I'm doing is through flies, because at least they're spawning when I hit them, but oof. Preferably, there would be a few less tears. <laughs> and again, with tier 8, this problem would not exist, because you can just shoot through it anyway. But it's good enough. We're, we're dealing damage. Come on, buddy. Be destroyed. At least with the stopwatch, it's kind of hard to take damage. <laughs> I mean, unless everything explodes suddenly. Why was everything exploding? Eh, it might have been actually because he was in a certain form that he just dropped bombs or something that I didn't notice. Oh, careful now. This is a scary one. The mom leg can just suddenly deal damage sometimes, and that one's always a bit creepy. When stuff like that happens, like it's, uh, it's spooky times. Let's just attack this one. Who spawned that? Because that looked like a regular one. <laughs> that didn't even look like delirium, that just looked like a regular horseman. That was weird. Now I could use my guppy spa. I'm gonna use my guppy spa, so I have three more blue hearts. Oh, I guess he spawned. He became Mega Satan? And that one spawned the horseman, I guess? That's that's a combination of things that can happen. Cool. Alright, let's just do the rest of the floor. Because we've seen most of it, honestly. But Because, I mean, the void's quite large, but we should have been nearly through it. I want to see if we can get anything else that's cool. We got a solid bobby bomb. Very good. There's a pretty fly over pretty here. Fly. Let's see if there's anything to the top left. Because we there's not that many bosses. Not many boss rooms open so far. So there should at least be like a couple more. But I am quite shocked. How big the void is when you really take a look at it. <laughs> Still no bosses, really? Very surprising. Fair enough, I guess, but... Is there just going to be a whole bunch, like, next to each other or something? Because definitely would expect more than this. All right, Frail. Jump into me. There you go. Good job. Ooh, Spider Baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spider Mother. Wow, really? That's it? That's not that many bosses at all? Huh. That's sad. What does this do? Random trick and effect every room? Sure. Go nuts. All right. Well, fair enough. I guess we win. Um... I'm not a hundred percent certain. I'm pretty sure that the chest is down here. Pretty fly. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That was uh, that was that whole side. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. That was our twelfth win in a row. It's going pretty well. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.